Hey guys, Jack on Wrist here, back with another video. And recently on the channel, I've had the opportunity to review a couple different micro brand watches, and I'm very grateful for that opportunity. But in today's video, I actually wanted to talk about three reasons why you should never buy a micro brand. Now, before I get on with this video, I just want to mention that I will be making a follow-up video to this, talking about reasons why you should buy a micro brand, as with this topic specifically, you can really go either way. So with that being said, and without further ado, let's talk about three reasons why you should never buy a micro brand watch. So the first reason why you should never buy a micro brand watch is due to the long term reliability. So what do I mean by that? Well, essentially what I'm referring to is the fact that when you buy a watch from a brand that is not a micro brand, Seiko, Rolex, Omega, Hamilton, Tissot, it doesn't really matter. You can pick and choose whatever you want. As long as it is a known brand, you'll be able to trust the fact that they will be around in a couple of years or maybe many years from now, if something were to go wrong or you need something to be repaired or replaced. At the end of the day, you know that these brands have been around for 50, 60, maybe even 100 years and you know that if something goes wrong, they're still gonna be there. Now, in regards to a micro brand, you don't really know that they're gonna be there in the future. Now, yes, some of these micro brands have stood the test of time and they've been around for three, five, maybe even 10 years, but even then, you still have no idea if in five years down the line or 10 years down the line, if something needs to be replaced or repaired, that they're gonna be there. That same level of trust that they're gonna be around is just not there with these smaller brands because we just have no idea what's gonna happen with them. So the number two reason to never buy a micro brand is due to the value for money. Now, yes, I will admit that if you wanna buy certain micro brand watches, they will give you good value for money. You will get nice designs with good specifications and you won't have to pay a fortune. But then there's the other side where you do have to pay a lot of money for these unique looks and good specifications because you're not buying from a big brand who can get cost of production really down low. In reality, when you buy from a huge brand or something that's part of a huge umbrella brand, such as the Swatch Group, for example, you know that the cost of production is going to be lower and you're gonna get pretty good value for money, not even to mention the brand equity that comes with that. On top of getting good specifications and reliable warranties, when you buy from these big brands, you're gonna get a real serious value for money with the brand. You know that the brand is gonna have its own value that these micro brands just simply do not have. So the final reason why you should never buy a micro brand watch is due to the resale value. And yes, I will give it to you that some micro brands do actually have good resale value. They keep their value pretty well. But 99.9% .9 of the time when you buy a micro brand watch, you don't know who's going to buy it and for what price. There's just no guarantee that someone out there is going to buy your watch if it's from a micro brand. The community is just not big enough. There's just no certainties that you're going to be able to sell it for what you want to sell it for. If I buy a random Seiko one day and want to sell it the next day, there's pretty much a guarantee that I'll be able to move it. I don't know what I'm gonna sell it for, I'm not really sure, but I know someone is out there to buy that watch. But if I buy a micro brand and wanna sell it the next day, there's no guarantee that someone is actually out there to buy your watch because the communities for these micro brands are just so small. This is a problem for a lot of people within the community. I know a lot of people that are big time flippers, a lot of people that like to buy a lot of watches, see if they fit and then move on from them if they don't. And if you buy a micro brand watch, there's just no guarantee of the value you're gonna get back if you wanna sell it. So these are just three reasons why you should never buy a micro brand watch. And really quickly to recap, I mentioned the long-term reliability, the value for money, including brand equity and the resale value. And like I mentioned in the introduction, I will be making a follow-up video to this in the near future, talking about the reasons why you should buy a micro brand watch, because at the end of the day, they still have a lot of reasons in their favor why you should buy one. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Would you guys buy a micro brand watch? Have you bought a micro brand watch before? Just what are your general thoughts? Leave them down below. I love talking with you guys. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated and I'll catch you in the next one.